Hi friends, it's Miss Jillian. Thanks for coming back to join us for our craft session after reading Fiesta Babies and celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Today we're going to make three different instruments because if you remember, these babies were playing some colorful, beautiful instruments. Our first instrument we're going to make today is a cup drum. And all you need for a cup drum are about two or three simple items. You need a cup. You can have plastic, glass, disposable, whatever you want to use. I chose plastic. One balloon and a rubber band. So we're going to take our balloon and we're going to cut off the neck of the balloon, which you can see I already did that. And then we're going to stretch our balloon over our cup, just like this. Here we go. If your cup's a little bit smaller, you'll need a rubber band to secure the balloon, but mine's on there very tight, very tight. And then something to use with your drum. So that is how you make a cup drum. Super simple. If you want, you can decorate your cup, you can paint, if you had a styrofoam cup, anything you want to do to make it yours. All right, next, some of y'all maybe saw my video on how to make egg shakers and maracas, but just in case, I'll show you one more time. All we need to make maracas is an egg, an empty Easter egg, some rice, or beans if you don't have rice. We're going to fill up our one half of our egg shaker, of our plastic egg. Close it up like this. We're gonna we're gonna make sure we tape around the seam. I'm gonna use washi tape. This is a washi tape. Shout out to Miss Brandy, introducing me to the wonderful world of washi a while ago. And washi tape is just a decorative tape. You can use anything. You can use regular Scotch tape, electrical tape, some decorative duct tape, anything you like. So it's on there, nice and secure. Then we're gonna take two disposable plastic spoons, like so. Hold them together like that and tape one more time around. You could add extra tape to be extra secure if you want. And there we go. That is your at home rocket. Our last instrument we're going to make is a straw pan flute. It will look like this when we're finished. If you have larger straws like these, these are often used for bubble tea or smoothies. These will work better, but I only had two of these left. So I use the regular size straws. It still works. It's just not going to be quite as loud. You're going to want to choose anywhere from about five to eight. If you're using the smaller straws, about eight straws. Uh, if you're using the larger ones, you can probably use five. And we're going to start with, as my guide for measuring, I just started with a regular size straw and cut right at the bendy straw neck right here. So that's my first one, and then just stagger them from there, about, about a half an inch, all the way down. And then I taped them together at the end with some double stick tape. Uh, you can use regular tape, it doesn't really matter. And then just wrap it around some construction paper to keep it all together, and that is your pan flute. So you have to listen closely because it's quiet. <laughs> but you could definitely hear a difference in the pitch. So thank y'all for joining me today to make your three instruments that we saw in Fiesta Babies. And hope y'all have a great Cinco de Mayo. Bye!